Hello Cougars, today is Friday, December 1st. I am Paul Gomez. And I'm D.B. Fulkerson, and you're watching Cougar News Network. It's a race to the finish line, as Franklin students participated in a friendly competition against students from Coronado High School. The boat race competition is a yearly tradition every November for Coronado students, but this year they decided to invite Franklin students to participate as well, bringing the competition to 41 teams. Two boats at a time raced down the pool at El Paso Country Club. The goal was to get across the pool as fast as possible without sinking. Students who competed are part of Mr. Hernandez's on-ramps physics 2 and AP physics classes. I feel like I had a lot of faith in the kids themselves. Uh, they're a smart bunch of kids. I figured they could figure it out. And uh, worst case scenario, they just went for a quick dip in the pool. Uh, you know, so I think all in all, it was fun. Um, and I think they learned a lot. Students need to apply basic physics principles in order to try and keep their boats afloat. All they had to work with was cardboard, masking tape, and silicone sealant. Students did run into some challenges while constructing their boats. I was pretty confident until the day before we had finished spray painting it and that um, and the spray paint and the cold um, night in the garage made all the caulk come apart and so the night before we had to rush in and try and fix them up before the race. Both the winner and runner-up were Coronado students but this won't be the last time you'll see Franklin in the race. Mr. Hernandez plans to have his students compete again next year. Student dancers are getting ready to show off their skills at the Art and Motion Dance Recital. Fusion Dance Director Ms. Munoz says the students have been working hard and creating their own pieces. Something they can also expect to see is student choreographed um, pieces, which is really exciting because um, it's student based. So you're getting to see the creativity of those dancers and kind of their stories and what they go through with life and what they portray through dance. Art and Motion is happening Friday. December 9th at 7 p.m. in the main gym. Admission is $5 for adults and $3 for students and kids. Children three and under are free. Forte Ballroom and French Dip from Urban Dance will also be performing. The Franklin Cougar boys basketball team defeats one of the best teams in the country. The basketball team played against Arizona Compass, the number one ranked basketball program in the country. The Cougars won against Arizona Compass Thursday, 49 to 38. There was a big turnout. Students were invited to cheer on the Cougars. Franklin football has wrapped up its 2022 season, with the varsity team landing a spot in the first round of playoffs. The team's record was six wins, five losses overall. They played third in district, their biggest win the night of homecoming when they defeated Socorro up 70 to zero. After advancing to the playoffs, the team faced off against Midland Legacy playing in Midland. Franklin did take a loss in Midland, 46-21. to Now coaches are focused on moving forward for the next season. Right now we're really focusing on discipline, so we want this thing to be a player-led team. Uh, so discipline is definitely something that we're really trying to harp on them. Um, on top of that, I really want my offensive line to just kind of like get it together and as far as, uh, you know, just increase a little bit of that physicality and just kind of get them bigger. Many football players are seniors and will be heading off to college next year, but before that, there's still another chance for them to hit the field. Four Franklin football players were selected to be part of this year's high school football all-star game. One of those players is Yai Ramirez. He was selected to be part of Team Red Storm. It's been one of my goals for so long, actually, because my dad was also in the all-star game. And when he had told me about it, you know, hearing that from him, that made made it to be like one of my goals and that made me work even more hard to be able to make it. The All-Star Game is happening Saturday, December 17th at the SAC. One of Franklin's soccer stars is back on the field and is ready to tackle this season. This comes after she overcame some personal challenges. Franklin is known for our fantastic varsity girls soccer team, but not all of the battles are fought on the field. When I was diagnosed, I was affected me because you no, know, my life wouldn't go back to normal, you know? Mm -hmm. And soccer wouldn't, like, I'd have to work back to where I was. Freshman Scarlett Oregani was diagnosed with leukemia while she was in soccer two years ago. I never knew how much work it would be getting back to where I was before and trying to get there now, and I think I'm doing pretty good. Despite this, Scarlett is still playing soccer for the school and continues to thrive. My older sisters played 
and I always w ran on the field wanting to play. Scarlett was selected as part of the Make-A-Wish program and was able to meet her favorite soccer player in Dallas. It was a really cool experience. Went to the training, saw how they, you know, it was very similar to what I trained. The locker room was really cool. Thankfully, Scarlett is in remission now. She shared these brave words of encouragement for people who are going through what she did. Fight. Like, never give up. Franklin High School students are rolling up their sleeves for a good cause. A Vitalin blood drive was held on campus Thursday, December 1st. Students 16 and older were able to donate blood and help save lives. Most donors donate a pint of blood. Students who donated received four hours of community service and a t-shirt. Vitalik goes all across El Paso and all the high schools here and all the organizations here. And we've always partnered with them and we've always been the number one supplier for our donors. So I'm very proud of that. And it's just a super great way to bring everyone out. And they're always super excited to donate and we're always sharing them food and good time and good company. And for the most part, everyone is able to donate. So it's a really good experience for them. All the blood donated will stay in the El Paso region unless there is a need for blood across the country. Vitalin plans to host more blood drives on campus next school year. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas on campus as we celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. This is what the dress-up schedule looks like starting Monday, December 5th. Monday is a happy Kwanzaa day. You wear red, green, black, and yellow. On Tuesday, wear your favorite flannel to school. Wednesday is Christmas sock day. You could dress like Santa or his elves on Thursday. And on Friday, December 9th, wrap yourself with a Christmas scarf. There are more dress up days the following week, which we will announce in the next week's newscast. Teachers, if you're looking to get into the holiday spirit with some classroom decorations, consider having students do the work for you. You can hire the Franklin Community Readiness class to decorate your door for $10. There are three choices being offered, Santa, a snowman, or a personalized wrecking ball. To get your door decorated, stop by Room West 128. The Franklin Theater Department is inviting you to take a selfie with Santa. Photos are $3 per person. You can snap your photo with Santa Wednesday, December 7th at the Fine Arts Building. There's two times available, during lunch and after school until 6 p.m. That's all for today. Tune in next week for more Franklin News. I'm D.B. Fulkerson. And I am Paul Gomez. Thank you for watching Cougar News Network.